to keep active during lockdown. And we could all take a lesson from children across the country who are doing just that by enjoying free online dance classes. Channel 3 Carer has met some of the tiny dancers. Lockdowns can't stop those tiny toes from tapping. Tuning in from kitchens and living rooms, dance class has moved online. So we're on Zoom, we log on, then we say hi to everybody, we do some dancing, and we've been doing lots of craft, and, and finding things around the house, like fairy wings, magic wands, scarves, and lots of other stuff. Anyone can join the lessons for free to support little lives impacted by the pandemic. We just wanted really at this point now to support as many um, parents and children and teachers as, as possible, just offering a little bit of normality, familiarity and interaction is incredibly important. But what's the verdict from the dancers? I like jumping. I love ballet because I get to see my friends. They are fun. It makes me happy. Tiny Toes wants to offer kids a sense of community even in isolation. And it's not just their dance skills that are being kept on point. We can dance, but they're actually learning about the world around them through the magic and through the creative art. Each class uses dance, acting and crafts to teach the children something new. This week they've been learning all about the life cycles of butterflies. Butterflies are caterpillars pushed and then they can turn fat and then they turn into a chrysalis and then they and then they turn into a butterfly. And they've been making hungry caterpillars from household objects. We painted the toilet roll. We left it dry. Then we put some pom poms on. We we used my glue gun to stick the eyes, the mouth, the leg. What is the best thing about dance class? Um, I I I always wanted to be on TV, and now I've been on TV. <laughs> It's keeping little ones busy, connected and creative so that they can continue to keep us on our toes. Channel Breath Care, ITV News. Absolutely brilliant, Ruth, yes, yeah.